Hey everybody! You know who it is. It is me. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is AMF1534. But for today, you can call me Adam. Just because I'm in a good mood, I just got home from work. And let's play some more Donkey Kong Country 2. Let's start up the Red Hot Ride. And it's hot. It is very, very hot! So we're gonna jump on these air balloons, and apparently Dixie has harnessed the ability to hover in midair. She can hover? So we're gonna get that thing majig there. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm like abnormally like happy today, and I don't know why. It must have been all the extra speed that I did! Uh, minus the speed part, because I don't do those at all. I would love to know how a rhino can fit on that thing, like, safely, without him causing that to basically implode. Or the fact that he, I mean, he can even stand on it without it immediately going into the, into the lava. Eh, whatever. It's a very odd place to put an O. The O for Oregon? There it is. I always like the music track for these places, too. I can just never really get enough on how awesome these graphics are. <laughs> Why does his footsteps sound like that? He's not walking on wood! You lying piece of shit! This game lies. Not only can monkeys walk through the air, but rhinos can stand on hot air balloons. And giant blue alligators can mimic the noises of walking on wood when they blatantly are not. Ha! Ah, you, my friend, have burnt in the fiery gates of hell! And I am yet to encounter a bonus stage. And that's not okay with me, I want one. Bum 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 bum. Oh. Just got a text message. And, oh no, this is a really bad place for that to happen. How unfortunate for that. I mean, you could still get that, I guess, if you would have held that barrel as long as I did. Or, you know, grab this one, you can go back and do that, but... That's really far out of the way, and I don't really feel the need for it. But we can do this! Ah, burning hell, bitch! Uh. <laughs> uh. I'm, like, really, really cracked out today. I'm kinda hungry, actually. Maybe I'll get some Wendy's. Wendy's and a, oh my god, Wendy's, a Baconator, one of their, uh, their Cobb salad, and fries with a chocolate shake sounds incredible. Even though that does sound like an insanely large amount of food, that literally almost doesn't even fill me up correctly, so. Yeah. You would think that I was fat with the type of portions of food that I eat on a regular basis, but I assure you that I am not, and considering that you have seen what I look like, I am not fat. I should be. I probably should actually have congestive heart failure by now, but I also do not. This part's tricky. It's tricky just like the song from SSX. It's tricky. My dear god. I think that I might have not done that the way I was supposed to do it. Oh, oh, no. Not gonna happen. Damn. Okay, so, we can go talk to Cranky if we felt like it, but I don't. So let's go to, wow, that could be mistaken as something very sexual. Let's go to Squawk Shaft. And there's apparently an alligator with two, like, pirate hooks. And to get that, you throw him in there, which I don't know how he comes back like that. Would, it's pretty tight. The background for this one is almost exactly the same as the one as a uh, cannon's claim, but all the crystals in the back back there are gold at this time instead of silver. So this one apparently is more important because it is gold beats silver every time. That's actually exactly what I need to have happen today. Whoa! I... God damn, that's what I get from looking down for half a second. Aha! That was my... another text message. There we go. There's definitely, definitely nothing better than, uh, 
having this song play is the first thing you hear when you get back from work. A very long day of work, mind you. I would love to have um, a DK barrel right about now, but apparently they do not want to give me one. Um, can we do it? Yes! We can. Yes, we can. Ooh, I need to get that too. So this is why I need a DK barrel, damn it. Are they really going to, like, deprive me of one of those for this long? Apparently. And I can't go back up and get it. That sucks. So I'm pretty sure that there is at least a bonus stage somewhere back there. Wow. I just had, like, remix action going on. Super laggy. Remix! Hey! -yeah. So yeah, he like vomits what looks kind of like eggs. I don't really know what parrots either A, have eggs in their stomach that they voluntarily vomit onto you. But uh, yeah. But, God, I hate these things. If you stay in the middle, you're more than likely not going to die during that. So that, that would be your area of... Pro oh, damn it. Right when I talk shit. There we go. So that would be your area of preference to be in at that point. That would hurt really bad, PS. To be flying into that and having a having an egg go like directly into your face at full bore. Hey, and we got an extra life. Muy excelente. As we are halfway to century worth of lives. So, one of my least favorite words in the known universe is part of the name of this level. Kiln? I don't like it. I hate it. Anyways, let's go to Steaming Cleavers. Kiln. For a boss battle that used to give me no end of shit in my lifetime as a kid. For what I just... The beginning part's not hard. Not at all, actually. I mean, you grab the cannonball, you throw it at him which I'm pretty sure throwing a cannonball at a sword may or may not completely destroy it. I don't know, you be the judge. Um, yeah, you can just dodge this once more, and then, oh my god, holy shit, we hit him again. We'll do this little rinse and repeat action for a minute. The only part when this used to get difficult for me, and I'll show you. Right here. Oh yeah, he's dead, right? Oh, this entire boss fight's over. Or is it? Oh my god, now he doesn't have his lava legs, and now he's going to try to impale us. Which, if you can avoid that long enough, you will get to go... Oh, no. <laughs> that won't happen again, I promise. That wasn't even supposed to happen the first time. That might be the first time in my entire life that I've ever died at that stage of this level. Got a little too quick with my words there. Yeah, don't try throwing Dixie at him, because it's not going to get the job done, I promise you. Bum, bum. <laughs> I do like the noise that he makes when you hit him, though. <laughs> because we all know that swords make that noise when you throw cannonballs at them. It makes perfect sense. Okay, so now we're back to this again. We actually need Dixie for this now that I think about it. We don't need her, but I much prefer her in this situation. So here he comes, back with a vengeance once more, to impale us! And he missed. You literally would need some of the worst reflexes ever in order to not be able to dodge that. So we can get these two banana coins here. This is the part where it used to be hard, because you had to, if you got over there too quick, you had to wait for that cannonball to drop, and that's where I'd get myself into trouble. See, now if you just, if you go up there, it's a lot easier to get it done. And he's really pissed off now. But, if you can manage to stave him off, and just go, Rawr! He is dead. And he explodes. And apparently, the sword was made of bone material. Lots and lots of bone marrow, and apparently fire on the inside. But there it is. We have dominated his presence, because we are awesome. So with two zones down, we now begin the third zone of this game which we'll have to go back eventually to get a couple more uh, DK coins, because I missed a couple, apparently. So, we'll do that later on. We're not going to do it right now, because I'd rather go into Krem Quay. Love this place. I feel like I'm in the bayous of Florida, 
though I've never ever been to the bayous of Florida, so I wouldn't even know what it's like whatsoever. But the music for this place is so tight. I love it. And I just I love the entire like environment for this place. And I like these things. There we go. I think that no matter what, you see those guys everywhere you go. I love these guys. Those are actually my favorite enemies in this entire game. I can't remember exactly what their name is. If anybody knows the name of those things, do enlighten me. I mean, I, I, I will eventually find out no matter what, because at the end of this game, they do give you the credits. But, I think there's something over here. Oh, there is. Yes! Yeah. You cannot throw boxes at me. I fear no man. But that Mickey Mouse scares the shit out of me. Have you ever seen his ears? They're like soup ladles. I hear that he even eats the soup with them. He is just a minion of Satan, I guarantee it. Ah. Who throws bees? Those bees are almost as big as he is. You know, I would love for it to not do that! God. I hate it when it does that. Alright, we're gonna go back. We'll try it again. We have enough time to warrant such things. Even though I have to go from the very beginning. Wow. I have no idea how I got out of that one alive. I think that we can probably avoid having to go all the way around. I'm that guy. What the? Oh, God. What in the hell? That was fucking crazy. Now I can't get my damn rhino. That sucks. Just had to go ruin everything. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. All right. Let's attempt the bayou once more. It apparently has my number right now, and I'm not okay with it. I will not allow it to take my life once more. Wow. Okay, here we go. No, I didn't want it to go like that. Let's take the express pattern. Oh, no! God, I forgot those are the ones that sink. No. Uh, Oh, yeah, that was way better than the idea I had. Okay. His laughing freaks me out. And he's just gonna keep throwing those until I kill him. Okay, here we go. This is where it gets kind of difficult for me sometimes. Whoa. Yeah, I'll tell you whatever. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Can we do it this time? Haha! -ha. Oh, yes! Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Why not? Oh, see, where the hell is the cannonball in here? Or is it not back here? Is it further ahead? I don't remember. I really don't remember, but I guess we're gonna find out one way or the other. Aw. He. Oh! I forgot about that. That's exciting. Alright. Oh. <laughs> I love those barrel things right here. Just like go around like that. They're just they're just nice. Ugh. Oh come on. Come on, Dixie, you dumb bitch. Not in any means of being sexist or anything, because that's not what I'm shooting for here, but you know, whatever. Knock it off, dude. Oh. I have not hit a single bonus stage today. It's like not it's like not right at all. I don't like him. I don't like him. Get away. God. That was like a major league fastball. 39 of those things, that's a nice healthy amount. Okay. I don't like bees, damn it. A very traumatic experience with bees as a child. 
I accidentally was out in my front yard and I stepped on one. Like, right in the joint between my big toe and the one next to it. And I couldn't walk for like three days. It was absolutely terrible. Oh, there's a bonus stage. Holy shit. That's way, that's way exciting. Okay. So, we have run out of time for this episode. But, not to mention, the thing I love about this game is that on its pause menus, the music still plays. It's so sick. Anyways, so, when you come back for the next episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2, we're going to explore that bonus barrel up there, and then we'll finish it up and continue further into Creme Quay. Thank you for watching. Your host, AMF1534, saying, saying goodbye.